Well, I just thought we did a great job coming out and swinging the bats. And, um, you know, from the second inning on, it's, uh, you know, we, we, we just saw a lot of pitches and bounced some pitches off, took a lot of pitches and hit a lot of balls hard. And, uh, you know, you never know how it's going to go on a Tuesday or Wednesday. But, uh, you know, the, I just I feel like the team showed up with a little bit of an attitude and, and kept it rolling. And, um, you know, really top to bottom through the lineup, guys were having good at bats. And, you know, Ramage went out there and gave us four or five pretty good innings. And, um, you know, the hits that he gave up, most of them were with two strikes. Kind of made some mistakes, didn't bury some pitches. And, uh, uh, you know, it was good to get him out there and let him throw some pitches, extend it a little bit, break sweat. And, uh, uh, you know, I feel like he got better tonight. So that was, that was big. And then, you know, Vermillion and, Cops, they threw the ball pretty good. Costi Shock uh, got a double play ball, which is good to see. And just trying to get those guys some work. And uh, but uh, really, just uh, a good win for us on Tuesday. Hey, what have you thought about the play of Curtis Washington the last few weeks? It seems like every time he gets in the lineup, he really produces for you. Yeah, he just uh, you know he plays plays the game hard and you know hits the ball all over the field and um, just a, you know still developing player. He's got. You know, they're, you know, we see him every day. We know what he's good at and what he's really got to work on. And uh, we played him on some Tuesday nights, and he seems to take a walk and get a hit, score a run. And uh, he, know, he knows his role, and he's done a great job with it. I know that was his first home run, but it seems like he's really been hitting the ball pretty hard, even on some of the shoulders. Yeah, he's hit two or three doubles in the last few games he's played. And uh, he's found himself in some really good hitters counts, 3-1, 2-0. I think tonight he first pitch on in one of his bats he he he, he jumped pitch pretty good so good for him he works hard he can play all three outfield positions he could probably play third base in a pinch and uh, you know that's what we wanted him to do just be kind of a utility guy a pinch runner defender at the end of the game possibly Dave well, you said you wanted Kerstad to hammer he did that he yeah. also had some mental errors obviously yeah. what do you think of his game overall offensively he was outstanding. Today in batting practice, pregame BP, he really hit the ball hard. I mean, he hit, he hit a couple, three balls off of to left center out of the park, hit a couple off the batter's eye, hit a lot of line drives through the middle, and, you know, he took it to the game. Uh, I mean, he, you know, I think he had three hits and, uh, you know, used the middle of the field. It was really good to see. What did he tell you happened there at that play? I don't know. What did he tell me? He didn't, there wasn't much to tell me. I asked him, did you go touch on play? He finally said no. I get. He thought that somebody caught the ball. I don't know what to tell you. I've never seen anything like it. And you're gonna have to ask him what happened there. You think he was just a little overhyped? I mean, I have no idea. You're gonna have to ask him. Yeah. I don't even want to talk about it because I'll get red faced. Is that I'm kind of is that kind of a love hate thing? Because he hit the ball so well, yeah. but then he made some bonehead plays. It's ridiculous. It's, I don't know what happened. You know, somebody in the stands yell, he caught it. Stop. I mean, what, what happened? <laughs> so it was ridiculous. I've never seen that. Just even if you think he caught it, just run and touch home plate. Ball's hidden to the gap. You're at second base, round the bag, run in, just cruise on and touch that plate. If you're after out, that's all you got to do. You thought Connor on Tuesday last week kind yeah. of got himself going. You thought this might be the same thing for Ramage? I hope so. You know, we need him to, to give us some innings at least one game this weekend. And uh, uh, if, it's, if they're quicker outings, uh, you know, maybe twice. So. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, he'll, he'll be ready for Saturday or Sunday or both. We'll see how it goes. You like where Bossy Shock is right now in, in his return? Uh, he, you know, he, he wanted to pitch. We weren't even going to pitch him in the eighth. We were going to just put Jacob out there, and he really was, uh, you know, because we, we don't want to throw him tomorrow. It's too close to the weekend. So uh, and he was at him, and I really want to go out on the mound. So that was good, you know. Um, I think he'll be ready to go this weekend. You know, he, he missed a couple weeks, and – didn't get to pick up the ball for a while and got back and uh, yeah, a little rusty, but uh, you know, he's, he's throwing the ball with good velocity. How much would you have liked to see Burton it had that right now? Just to yeah, see. I mean, I, like, I would have liked to see him, you know, get through that inning. It was good to see him get that first out. After that, I mean, I don't know, anybody could hold the baseball. And, uh, you know, we knew it was a, a little sell that it wasn't going to last real long, but it was pretty heavy and, uh, it just it just really got the field in, in bad shape. We don't want to get anybody hurt. So. 
be here tomorrow. Uh, we're going to throw a little bit at everybody. We haven't made a decision on who we're going to start, but uh, you know, we've got we've got we've got Denton, we've got Tress. You know, those guys will probably be at the front, and then after that, we'll we'll, we'll see how it's going. What's your feeling about Heston? You ever felt that way about a guy who went three for four? You ever been that kind of put out or upset I or just, frustrated? I mean, it's just one of those things. It just, you know, you you got to know how many outs there are when you when you're when you're in the field. There's a lot of things led up to that, you know. And you know, you know, I saw a mistake on a ball that hit to the gap. Just keep your eye on the ball. Don't drop your head. Maybe you could end up third base with no outs. And then the next ball that goes to the warning track, it's called a sack fly. But that didn't happen because then he dropped it, and then the rule states, he's, you know, you saw that. So that shouldn't matter. He should have been standing on third base. But anyway, maybe is, that, is that a bad replay rule there? I mean, obviously. Yeah, what it is, there should be some judgment from the umpire there instead of just if they change a call on a catch, no catch, you go back to where you were. It doesn't make a lot of sense because to me, it hurts the offense right there. So, uh, and then the base runner mistake. So, you know, there were three things that went on in the game that were real irritating to me. So those little things that will get you beat close game. And uh, those are the things that, you know, we've got to clean up. I feel like those were good lessons learned from him on a 19-2 so. game. I'm sure that, you know, well, you can ask him how he feels. Anybody else? Okay. Thank you.